Hey, so it's down there. Right there at the end of this tunnel is Kelverdon Hatch. It's a nuclear bunker that was adapted from a Fighter Command Operations Center built in the 1960s to be the home of government in the event of a nuclear attack. And at the end, you may now be able to make out a mate of mine, explorer and explainer extraordinaire Tom Scott. Tom and I decided we were gonna have a day out at the nuclear bunker and get stuck into some nuclear science. Hey buddy. Hey. Hey man. So over on my channel, we're gonna be talking about rather optimistic plans to help survivors after the nuclear war and how they'd have worked out down here what was going on up there. And here first in this film on BritLab, what we're gonna do is have a look at what nuclear energy is and how you might be able to have a slightly better chance of surviving a nuclear attack. Delicately. I know, I know, I know. Okay. I'm going to place these myself okay. in a minute. Here's a really, really simplified atom. In the centre you've got a nucleus made up of positively charged protons and neutrally charged neutrons. And that's orbited by a negatively charged set of electrons. Even though an atom is really tiny, the forces holding together those protons, neutrons and electrons in place are actually pretty damn strong. In fact, it was when scientists finally split the atom back in the 1950s that they realised how much energy they'd released and worked out that if they could harness it, that would be a gold mine. But there's more than one way to skin a cat or uh, careful, or uh, split an atom, as it turns out. One way is to wait for an atom to break apart and release that energy on its own. Certain radioactive substances, like uh, types of uranium, uh, do this because they have unstable atoms that are releasing that energy constantly. Or you can force the atom to break apart. And we've actually found two ways of doing that, fission and fusion. Now, fission is pretty easy. You find some nice big atoms, like say a certain type of plutonium, and then you smash them apart by chucking neutrons at them really, really fast. And as they split, they release the energy holding the atom together, plus they release some more neutrons the neutrons are released with enough force to fly into other nearby atoms and smash those atoms apart, releasing more energy and more neutrons. It's a chain reaction. That is why we're rigging up this whole box of pain right here. Uh, you doing all right, Tom? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What? Fusion is hurling two atoms at each other with such force that they actually merge into one new atom, releasing energy in the process. It's what the sun is doing about 10 million times a second, smashing hydrogen atoms together into helium atoms. Now that's why you might have heard some people call the sun a giant nuclear reactor. Now fusion takes a lot of energy and is basically impossible to illustrate even with 100 ping pong balls. This is going to illustrate fission. Careful! <laughs> Lead can actually be turned into gold with fusion. In, in 1980, our uh, Nobel laureate Bling Seaborg transmuted a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of lead into gold by applying a huge amount of energy to change the physical makeup of lead on an atomic level. I don't like. <laughs> right, we're set. And we're going to launch in a neutron and we're hoping it's gonna split one of the atoms and that's gonna fire out another neutron and then that's gonna split the next atom and fire out more neutrons, so that's the plan. Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. It. Now that is the great thing about fission, once you start that reaction going, those neutrons produced from each split continue the reaction at a crazy rate. It, it does take a big setup though, yeah. uh, as you can see, and it also makes a lot of mess um, of the toxic radioactive kind. Yeah, because I guarantee you there's at least one mousetrap in there that has not quite gone off. <laughs> that, there was one. To see how radiation works and how to survive it, click There was another. There. <laughs> 